Paradise. We've just set foot in Dollywood for the first time ever and I'm way beyond excited, I can't even tell you. We've, um, we're just going to have a wander around, we don't know where we're going or anything. Yeah, Steve wants a map. We've got these fast pass things so hopefully we won't have to stand in too long a line but oh, we need to get a picture of the sign. There's the iconic Dollywood sign. Well, first ride of the day at Dollywood is Lightning Rod. I've got huge expectations on this. This is an RMC roller coaster with a launch up the hill like you wouldn't believe. So, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Obviously, you can't take um, cameras and phones and stuff on the ride, so there won't be any on ride footage, but there'll be lots of oohs and ahs afterwards. So, this is the whole area where Lightning Rod's built. Oh, I can see it there! Yeah. You're gonna come on, Mr. Stephen. St Stephen would rather not. I think that's the entrance over there. Oh, look at this iconic. Oh, looks so amazing. Right, we're gonna see what the queue's like. If it's only small, I won't use me fast pass because you can only use it once. First ever ride on Lightning Rod and it didn't, didn't disappoint. What they did have to do, because I've got the launch lift hill, they actually had to um, put a brake on the top of it. So you shoot up the top of the brake at the lift hill, brake next speed and then there's a brake which spoils it a bit. But it's better than the ride not working so I'll show you a little off-ride video of it. Well I've got to say boys and girls, this absolutely stunning park. This is the rapids, Let's see if anybody goes down and gets squirted. Steven's discovered that there's little machines out to squirt people, you know how he likes to squirt people on the rapids. So there's lightning rod going around again, there's lightning rod and all of its glory. So we're just going to follow the path around, see where it takes us, we're not even going to look at the map. Our lovely friend Marcus said don't look at the map, just follow your senses. Steven's just had a look at it mind in all fairness and it is kind of a nice easy loop to follow which we like. I'll be going on the rapids a little bit later on. How beautiful is this place though? Look how gorgeous it is. It's not even too busy, which we like. It's fall as well, so everything's pumpkins and scarecrows. Must be lovely at night. Hello. Must be lovely at night where it's all lit up because everything's covered in lights. And they do a big Christmas event here as well. I think this is Daredevil Falls, the park's log flume ride. It's a rather unusual drop. Usual cars as well, to be honest, for a lot of blue. Oh, here it is, come down once you see the water. Shoot up! on a ride. I think it's called a fire chaser. It's probably the cutest indoor dark ride roller coaster ever. It's quite vintage. But it's got some huge big pieces inside. Totally love that one. I'm going to go on that one again. Next ride of the day is the Tennessee Tornado, which is this brown structure. I think it's an oldie worldy coaster made by Arrow Dynamics, possibly. You know I'm always wrong, so correct me if I am. Steam's going to wait on his favourite bench. So I'm going to go on now. Where's the entrance? Entrance this way. Entrance that way, I don't know where it's lost. Okay, entrance around corner. So we'll walk out there. Look at the structure, this is just the outside of the building. There's a gift shop and an arcade inside. There's another coaster over there. Oh, there's a massive big one over there as well. There's lots of rides here. I don't think I can recommend this place enough. It's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it a bit. So I've already been on a couple of rides. Look at this big loopy thing. Oh. As you can see the park isn't very busy, they've got all of these cattle pens but there's not many um, people waiting in them which is good. But I've got the fast pass which I haven't used for this one. I think I've got more chance of picking my roll if I don't use it, plus I don't need it so... That's where we get on the ride. I can imagine when it's busy it gets very busy. You see the handle the queue as well here which is good. No dilly dallying and faffing around. Well, 
well that's a texas tornado ticked off the list quite rough i got the front seat so it was as smooth as it could be i think it's an old um aerodynamics looping coaster it's quite good fun but i'll not be going on that more than them um, twice i wouldn't have thought so i have a banging headache it's good fun though Next ride is going to be Wild Eagle. Look at this ride. Oh, b and Wing Coaster, I do believe that is. Then I'm going this Fire Chaser ride, which was new. I think this was new a couple of years ago. Looks rather fun though. It looks my kind of ride. Doesn't look too fast, doesn't look too painful. Looks quite family friendly, which is all what I'm about. Although I do like the big rides too. That was really fun. Back row outside of the wing course. I would say it was a little bit rough, give me a little bit of a headache. I'm going to go on again. So I've got the express pass. Does that mean I'm going this way? I'm not sure how I get on, so I'll go the proper way because I don't know. They think I'm pushing in, but that was a very good ride. 8 out of 10. Oh, that was ride number two on the wing course. I preferred that one a bit more. It wasn't quite as rough, so I was the second one from the back on that one. So next time I might go to the front. The ride takes out through a gift shop, very Disney-esque. The Wild Eagle Dollywood. Oh look at that Dollywood Eagle. It's got some farm merchandise lined up, buying a few bits and pieces before the end of the trip. They're quite cute. So I'm just going to find where Mrs. Steven is and then I'm going to go on the, um, this one here. That's the next way I'm going to go. I think it's around here. It's either around here or oh, I'm going completely the wrong way because you know I always do. I always get lost. I always mumble my words and always get ride names mixed up, so I'm not sure if it's that way or that way. Oh, I'm lost. Yay, found the entrance to Fire Chaser Express. Oh, it's such a nice park, I can't tell you how nice it is. Everybody needs to come here. I wouldn't say it's got the biggest roller coasters and stuff in the world, but it has got some amazing ones. And the scenery, the theme, and the staff, the guests, everything about it is just absolutely beautiful. I've never known such an absolutely amazing staff in my life. Oh, this looks fun. Exit only. We'll see there's an entrance for Speedy. Oh, it's how it's happening. Like, Whee! For our Speedy Pass, which I think there is. So we'll go on that queue, even though there probably won't be a very big queue, but... Anyway, as you know, I just stay uh, waffle on. As I do. If anyone's still watching, thanks for watching. Go. Time to save a pass entrance. Oh. Well, this is the Fire Chaser roller coaster. I think I preferred it to Lightning Rod. It's a family friendly ride but it has got quite a kick to it. It um, shoots you forwards and backwards, has fire effects. Absolutely brilliant actually. The girl behind us screaming ahead of Blesser. But it is quite a wild ride. It's a bit like Thunder Mountain on steroids. We'll have another ride on it. Straight into the speedy pass queue. Sorry the camera just get wiggled around all over the place. I'm taking no notice of what I'm doing. My god, this ride is so fun! It's absolutely brilliant. I think it's my favourite ride so far. The, the, the park is classed as like a family junior kind of coaster. The young ones can get on because of the height restrictions. It's so fast, honestly, it's brilliant. It goes fast backwards and forwards. It's quite high, actually, it's much higher than you'd imagine. It's been like much of Thunder Mountain, but with acceleration backwards and forwards. Oh, look, like this. And that's just coming out the station, that's not even part of the ride because it goes around here. Yeah. Brilliant. Dolly Parton picks good rides. Oh, it's amazing. Look at how cute is it as well. Look at the cars. Anything that's um, fire truck themed has got to be good fun. Now we're going to go to Wildwood Grove, I believe it's called, which is Dolly's new area here. So we're going to go there next. Stephen's just relaxing with his glass of water. Another good thing about this park is you can have as much free water as you want. And it's not scabby water from a fountain, it's actually from the beverage machines where you get the soda from. So that's rather nice of them. Just give you a cup and you have as much as you like. No faffing on there. So I'm going to show you. When I get to the exit of the ride, I'll show you the ride zooping around the corner. Yes, I think I've just been on the Eagle Rise. As I've said a million times, I'll get all the names of the rides mixed up. Yay! Stephen has just texted the same where he is, but I've got no idea where he meant. <laughs> oh, sorry, Stephen. He's under some. Oh, I think it might be here. He's under some canopy. 
and there was a juggler, so I can see people's arms in the air, so there's some sort of show on. So oh, there he is, I can see him. He's not really into juggling, but I think he's enjoying the, the shade. Next ride is Mystery Mine, which is what it was. That's a nice big loop. It's a nice view of it. So this is, um, I think it's a Gersler Eurofighter type ride. Tried to go on in Six Flags over Georgia yesterday, but the queue was too big, so I gave up. What are speedy passes? I'm pleased I got the speedy pass thing because the queue for this one's quite big. I think you can only use your speedy pass on this ride once because it must have a quite a slow throughput. Oh, because it was an elevator for us old people. Oh, yeah, it's like a, a ghost town kind of ride. Double boat smoky, all covered with snow. I lost my true lover for cotton too slow. Oh, it's fair to say that mystery mine was horrid. Probably the worst ride we've been on so far. It was just so painful. I don't know why it was. Those rides aren't normally that rough, but this one was. Oh, the pain. I'll show you a few off ride shots if I can catch it. Oh, it was horrible. So painful on your shoulders. <laughs> to explore the new part now, Wildwood Grove. Oh, they've got a drop tower. That looks fun. Hopefully you won't get stuck on it like I did yesterday at Six Flags over Georgia. Stephen, be going on the drop tower? Yeah. Try, you like it? Let's see how long it takes to drop. Ooh. The food shall be amazing, I bet. How cute is this? Look at that little acorn ride, that's absolutely adorable. So there's a drop tower here, there's a kid's acorn ride, there's a wooden coaster. I'm not sure if that's the original coaster, that one has been here forever. There's a pirate ship. Stephen just said it reminds us of Europa Park, the Arthur ride, because the theme is very similar. There's a Halloween festivities happening at the minute. I think special nighttime activities for Halloween. Looks like a junior um, suspender coaster. This is the wooden coaster I want to go on. Looks wild. As I say, I don't know if this is a new one or if it's an old one because it has got, there is an old one here. It's been here forever. Oh, it looks rapid. Look at this come around the corner. And it looks like it's got those nice trains, the same as ones that Europa Park's got in Walden, so they might be nice and smooth. It's a kids' splash area. There's some sort of big show building over here. This is what I'm going to go on that blue spinny thing. That's what I went on yesterday. It's my favourite thing yesterday at um, Six Flags over Georgia. We're going to try and find somewhere for food as well and also go on the train. I think this is the train track over here. So this area is aimed at families mainly. So it's got things like this frog jumping ride, which looks quite fun. They've got those blue spinny round things, which I want to go on. I haven't seen it go around, so I don't know if it's open. It's the same thing I went on yesterday, and there's the junior coaster as well. So want to experience all of the rides but I'm not going to go on the little kids rides but I'm going to go on the, the coaster I might go on this blue thing if there's not a massive queue and then I want to go on the wooden coaster and then we want to have some food a lovely day though I totally recommend this park honestly I can't believe how nice the staff are apparently a lot of Dolly Parton's family live here uh, work here it does seem a very family orientated park it's a cross between Europa Park back and oh the family coaster is working few of the little parks but it's nothing like a Six Flags park I'll tell you that for nothing. This is the next ride it's called the Dragonfly and it's a I think it's a Vacoma Junior flying coaster so that's the next ride I'm gonna go on with my time so you'll pass the <laughs> Well that thing's faster than it looks it's actually for a junior coaster it's really rather rapid so I'm going to find Steve, I'm going to go for lunch now, but I want to find out how you get on this wooden coaster. I don't know if it's in this actual area, so there's the station for it. Favourite flat rides, but there's a massive queue, so I'm going to skip that one this time. Yeah, we'll go 
well, boys and girls, the fastest ride in the wilderness. This is better than a suspended looping course. It's absolutely fabulous. It doesn't hurt either, which is rather comforting for me with my old joints. Look at this, the speed of it. It doesn't look that fast off ride. Watching those around this helix. It does look really slow off ride, but it's so fast. to say we're a little bit in love with Dollywood everybody it's absolutely such a nice park I've never as I said probably a hundred times before never been to a park where there's been so many nice staff the staff actually talk to you and they're lovely and they're nice and sweet and kind and lovely and beautiful and everything so have an absolutely amazing time we're gonna we're trying to find out where this wooden coaster is but I've got no idea where it is so I want to go on the drop tower and I want to go on the wooden coaster so we'll just follow the path Mr Stevens the air map reader as always because normally I can't find me without the carport I literally get lost in every single theme park you can imagine. Back to the video now. Fox, never mind, find yourself the way around the theme park. There's Mr. Stephen to the rescue. Next round of the day is the drop tower. I think I'm in the right queue anyway. Mm, I might have had, oh, got a steam effect there. I might have you the worst view possible of it because there's a big top wall in above us. Hmm, it's a slightly better view. The drop tower was rather decent. We're going to go on this. Well, I'm going to see if I can go on this kiddie coaster. Sometimes I don't let you go on kids' rides without an adult, but I'm going to see if I can go on it. I'm going to go on this child's ride. May as well. As the same, I may as well get the credits. Not that they count credits, but you know what I mean. So they might not let us on without a child, but I'll try. Just been having a lovely chat to a couple of members of staff here that have worked here for a little while. So our next ride is Thunderhead, which is the wooden coaster. It is absolutely staff and everything here is just completely different. So this is what I'm going on next. Thunder Head. Wooden coaster, the Dimba coaster, as they say in Europa Park. Welcome back, Thunderhead Riders. How was it? Oh you're on. That was a fast ride. It was basically a warden at Europa Park. It's got the same trains, etc. I think it's been made by the same people. It's a slightly rougher version. I think they might need to um, do a little bit of maintenance on it just to make it a bit less rough. But it was fabulous. A really good ride. So I'll be going on there again later on. You can tell Halloween's on this way because we're entering through the pumpkin patch. Mm. Carve nice and neatly into bears and things. This is the owl and the mouse section. I think they do a haunted Halloween type event here, but it's probably not very scary, it's probably child friendly. Anyway, we're going to go and hop on board Dolly Parton's train next. Ooh, well, after many, many rides on roller coasters, we're going to look for some food now. What did you just suggest? Steak sandwich. Mm, steak sandwich, that sounds tasty. <laughs> so, mm. so, we're going to try and find now some, some globe. Oh, there's Dolly's fan down there, lightning rod. <laughs> We're going to have a little mince inside Dolly Parton's tour bus now. I'm not sure if you have to pay to get in or anything. But um, people are paying for something, but I don't know if that's for photographs. We'll let you know when we come out. We're doing a little tour of Dolly Parton's tour bus. It's huge, isn't it? It's okay, you'll have to take photographs before anybody... Oh, there's Dolly's throne. Huh. There is what's in here. Oh, there's two toilets. I'd rather be two toilets. There's a bathroom. There's a shower area. How amazing is this? And Dolly's perfume. Fridge, 
next on the agenda, after just being on the lovely tour bus, we're going to go into the Dolly Parton story, which I think is the Dolly Parton Museum. I'm not sure if you can video us, so my camera might be turned off in a second, but I'll ask when we'll come in. Oh, good, you to take pictures. Such a gorgeous. Pull up the dolly. That's it for day one of Dollywood. We just have a little mooch around the uh, gift shop. Then um, we're off. Ah, oh, they do, um, what do you call them? What's those thingy jigs called? But the thingies on the back, they do those as well. So we're heading on back to the um, hotel, get the car keys, and we're going to go to Pigeon Forge. So we're going to have a look around the island. So we'll just sort of have a look in the gift shop while we're here. Dolly Parton mugs. Look at these mugs, man. There's a Dolly Parton doll as well, which is rather sweet. Stephen, what are those jackets called with the things on the back again? Spirit jerseys. Thank you, Mr. Stephen. So, anyway, hope everyone's enjoyed our first day of Dollywood. I don't know if we're going to vlog tomorrow. Not that I do actually vlog, but you know what I mean. Chatting away to me camera. Mumbling away. So I might do a video tomorrow, but I might not. I may just enjoy the moment, enjoy the day. So hope everyone's enjoyed it anyway. So over and out for now. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.